Hi guys, so let's see the question number 4 of RMO KV 2025. So this is based on uh, combinatorics. So in this we have given a frog which is initially at 0, 0. Okay. And uh, then it reaches n, 2. Let's say this is n, 2. So where n is greater than or equal to 1 using the following moves in a order several times. So we have a three moves R, U and D. So R move basically shift the frog one unit to the right, right? And zero one move shift the frog to vertically one unit. And the D moves shift the frog one unit right and one unit up, right? So it reaches at this point. So we have to find out the number of ways in how many ways can frog go from 0, 0, to n, 2 using the above steps subjected to the condition that uh, the steps of the type u, u and d, d are forbidden. Means they cannot be consecutive steps u, u and d, d. Okay, so for example, for n is equal to 3, this is correct. These are admissible paths, but these are not because we have a 2d and 2u together. Okay, so but there is no con con uh, restriction on R. Okay, so from 0, 0, we have to reach to n, 2. Okay, so first we can observe one thing that we have to go up by two units only, right? We have to move up only by two units. So that we can achieve either by using two U steps or two D steps. So the possibility to go up by two units, either we have to use two U steps or we can do this by two D steps or U and D step, one U and one D step. And, okay, so <clears throat> if we consider this case first, if we are using two U steps, the and uh, we have to move how many steps to the right? We need N steps to go right, right, to reach N or to move n units in the right direction, we need n right steps. So our path is a combination of r and 2u. How many r's we need? n r's we need and 2u we need. Right? And basically the arrangement of them gives us a different uh, ways to reach from 0, 0 to n, 2. So number of ways in which we can arrange them that will be the number of paths from or number of ways to go from 0, 0 to n, 2. So that we can do by n plus 2 factorial by n factorial and 2 factorial. Now we have uh, to subtract some cases from here. So as we have a restriction that you you cannot come together. So we have to subtract the case where the two u's are together. So now we will find the number of arrangements with n r and these two u as together. So how many arrangements are then? It is n plus 1 factorial by n factorial that is n plus 1. So we subtract this number from this. So that is the number of ways when we are using two u. Right, and uh, if we go for a u and d, the second case, if we consider so, this is a case number one when we are using only two u, and the second case when we are using that two uh, d. Okay, so in two d, basically we are use going one unit right and one unit up, right? So if we are using two d, then we already covered two steps to the right and two up steps right so as total steps we need n so total right we have to go is n so it is n minus two rights we need how many r steps we need now n minus two r's and two d's right so using the same thing in this part we will see that it is n factorial because total will be n minus 2 plus 2 total numbers are n factorial by n minus 2 factorial n 2 factorial and also we have to subtract the case when 2 d's are together 
we have to subtract the case when two d's are together so those two d's together will give us the n minus 1 factorial by n minus 2 factorial okay so that is the case when we have a two d's together that we subtract so this is the case when we have a when we are using 2d then we have a third one is when we are using 1u and 1d in fact there is no restriction on that because u and d can come together so in this case 1u and 1d uh, tells us that two steps up is done and 1d is a also uh, cover one unit to the right uh, when we are using 1d step so how many r steps we need n minus 1 r steps 1u and 1d so how many arrangements we can do n plus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial right so these are the number of ways we can get in this case so now if we add all the three this one and uh, then this one and this one that will be our final answer so if you simplify that and add them you will get the answer 2n square plus 1 okay if you simplify them you will get the answer 2n square plus 1 that should be the answer of this question